The BOA rack is a versatile tub-in shelving enclosure system that can accommodate very large tubs for housing large snakes. The assembly is similar to the smaller Versa rack systems with some significant changes to accommodate the greater weight of the BOA rack. The best way to use this tutorial is to watch the whole video without stopping to get a good overview of the process and then refer back to different sections of the video as needed when you are building the rack. Open the shipping boxes and find the packing slip. The packing slip will list all the parts that are shipped with the order and the numbers of each part that you have received. Unpack the boxes and make an inventory of the parts using the packing list. Each Versarac system will have the same types of parts, but only those parts included with the BOA rack will have a number shipped on the packing list. Here is an overview of the parts. Vertical poles. These are the vertical supports for the rack. There are three types of threaded inserts. 3 8 inch female. This small diameter threaded insert will receive the tightening bolts at the top of the rack and the wheeled casters at the bottom of the rack. 22 millimeter male. This threaded extension will be used to connect two vertical poles together in the middle of the rack. 22 millimeter female. This insert will receive the 22 millimeter male threaded extension when two vertical poles are connected. Spacers. These strong plastic tubes will be the spacers between the shelves. A BOA rack has two types of spacers, a single pole spacer and a double pole spacer. Your specific rack configuration may have a set of shorter spacers that will be used above the top shelf. Shelves. The tubs will slide between the shelves on the rack. There are two sides to each shelf. The upper side of the shelf has depth and a network of plastic clips that will be used to hold heat cable. The tubs will sit on top of this side of the shelf. The underside of the shelf is flat. The tops of the tubs will touch this side of the shelf. Each level of the BOA rack will use two shelves. One shelf will have steel rails installed on the edges. This shelf will be positioned at the front of the BOA rack. The other shelf will not have steel rails and will be positioned at the back of the BOA rack. L bracket shelf support. These metal pieces will provide additional support for the BOA rack. Tightening bolts and washers. These pieces of hardware will be installed into the vertical poles to hold the rack together and generate the pressure that will make the rack very solid. Guide stop with rivets. This is a molded piece of plastic with holes to receive rivets that will secure the guide stop to the underside of a shelf and prevent the tub from moving sideways. Wheeled casters. These casters are installed at the bottom of the rack so that it can be rolled. There are two types of casters, locking and non-locking. Tubs. The tubs will be the enclosure for the animal and will slide between the shelves on the rack. Heat cable. The heat cable is installed in the clips molded into the top of each shelf and will provide heat for the animals in the tubs. Each BOA rack includes a 52 foot heat cable. The only tool that you will need for assembly is a 9 16 wrench or a small adjustable crescent wrench. A roll of strong masking tape with a width of at least 2 inches will also be helpful. The easiest way to start the assembly of the BOA rack is to use a BOA tub or other object as a support to hold the bottom shelf off the floor. This step will make it a lot easier to hold the vertical poles in place while you assemble the rack. Set a BOA tub on the floor with the bottom of the tub facing up. Choose one end of the tub to be the front of the rack. Place a shelf with steel rails at the front end of the tub so the open side of the shelf with the heat cable clips is facing up. Pay attention to the position of the heat cable clips to make sure they are where you will want them to be under the tub. Place a shelf without steel rails on the other end of the tub and pay attention to the arrangement of the cable clips as well. Push the edges of the shelves together. These two shelves will comprise the bottom shelf of the BOA rack. 
Position an L bracket shelf support under one side of the two shelves so that the holes in the L bracket are lined up with the underside of the vertical pole holes in the sides of the shelves and so that the vertical flange of the L bracket is pointing up along the edge of the shelves. Use some pieces of masking tape to hold the L bracket in place, but do not cover the holes with the tape. Each BOA rack vertical support needs two pole sections. The section with the 22mm female threaded insert is the bottom pole. When installed at the bottom of the rack, the 22mm female insert should be facing up. Insert one bottom section of a vertical pole through each of the four holes along each side of the shelf and one pole through the hole in the center at the back of the shelf. The 3 8 inch female threaded insert should face the floor. Hand tighten the casters with locking wheels into the 3 8 inch threaded inserts of the poles on the front corners of the rack. Install the rest of the wheeled casters on the back corners of the rack and on one of the two poles in the middle of each side. Install a washer and locking bolt in the bottom of the two side vertical poles and on the back vertical pole that did not receive wheeled casters. Tighten the locking bolt hand tight only. Do not use a wrench to tighten it. Use several pieces of masking tape to hold the bottom of the vertical poles without casters up against the bottom of the shelf. Then remove the support tub and lower the shelf to the top of the casters. The tape may not be strong enough to hold the poles up in place, especially when some force is being applied to them. So you may want to find a solid object like a block of wood or stack of books to place under the poles to keep them in this position. Or you can leave the supporting tub in place and do this step later. The guide stops with rivets will be positioned on the underside of the front section of each shelf except for the lowest shelf so that they are adjacent to the sides of the tubs. It is much easier to install the guide stops with rivets before the rack is assembled. The guide stops will be positioned on a BOA rack on both sides of the front sections of a shelf. There are holes in the shelf to receive the rivets. Position the holes in the guide stop over the holes in the shelf with the flat side of the guide stop against the shelf. Push the barbed rivets through the holes until they are fully seated. This will require some force. Install all the guide stops onto all the shelves except for the bottom shelf that is already assembled. A BOA rack has two types of spacers, a single pole spacer and a double pole spacer. Slide double pole spacers onto the vertical poles that are next to each other in the sides of the rack. Slide single spool spacers on each of the remaining vertical poles. Slide the spacers all the way to the top of the bottom shelf. Pick up a shelf without a stainless steel rail and rotate it so that the heat cable clips are oriented the same as they are on the shelf that is already installed on the back end of the rack. Insert the tops of the vertical poles at the back end of the rack through the holes in the second shelf and push it down to the top of the spacers installed above the bottom shelf. Pushing the shelf down is easier with two people and will require some wiggling and gentle banging to get the shelf into position. It is important to not use excessive force. The shelves are very strong, but they are still plastic. Pick up a shelf with the stainless steel rails. They should all have guide stops installed and install it on the poles at the front of the rack making sure that the heat cable clips are facing up and are oriented in the same way as on the bottom shelf. Install another set of spacers above the second shelf.
Repeat these steps to install the third level shelf and spacers above it. Slide an L bracket support onto the vertical poles on each side of the rack. Make sure the narrow vertical flange is pointed up and oriented to the outside of the shelf. Install the shelves for the fourth level of the rack. The 22mm male threaded insert at the bottom of the top section of the vertical poles will thread into the 22mm female threads of the vertical poles already installed on the rack. Install the top half of each vertical pole until it is hand tight. Slide a set of spacers onto the vertical poles over the fourth level shelves and then install the fifth level shelves and then the spacers above them. The last set of L bracket supports will go under the highest shelf that will have a tub setting on it when the rack is complete. The topmost shelf will not have any weight on it and therefore will not need L brackets. Install the remaining levels of the rack. Depending upon whether your rack is a 6 or a 7 tub boa rack, you may or may not have a set of spacers that will slip over the vertical poles above the highest shelf. If you have those spacers, install them at the top of the vertical poles now. Start the tightening process for the rack by placing a washer over the top of each riser pole and inserting a tightening bolt through it into the 3 8 inch female threaded insert. And tighten the bolts until you cannot tighten them anymore. Use a crescent wrench to tighten the bolts carefully. The best way is to start with one of the vertical poles on a corner. Tighten the bolt one complete turn with the crescent wrench and then try to twist the spacer under the top shelf. If the spacer rotates easily, tighten the bolt another turn. Repeat the steps and count the number of turns of the wrench until the spacer is hard but not impossible to twist. You will not be able to twist the spacers on the double poles, so tighten those about the same number of turns as the spacers on the single poles. Air on the side of fewer turns of the wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. This can damage the rack. It is okay for the spacers to turn a little bit, but you do not want them to be loose. Each BOA rack includes a heat cable that can be installed in the clips that are molded in the top of each shelf. The best practice is to install the cable under one end or side of the tub so that there is a temperature gradient in the tub. Heat rises. So the tubs at the top of the rack need less cable under them than the tubs at the bottom of the rack. Keep that in mind when you design the layout for your heat cable. Start at the top shelf of the rack and work your way to the bottom so that the plug of the heat cable will exit the rack at the level of an electrical outlet. Choose the exit point for your cable based upon where your rack will be positioned. You want the plug end of the cable to have easy access to an outlet. Leave a little slack in the cable where it exits and enters the shelf so that there is less chance the cable will be pulled out of the clips. Slide the tubs into their positions on each shelf. The tubs should slide in easily. If the shelves are too tight for the tubs, loosen the tightening bolts until the tub can be inserted with no extra force. Roll the rack into the position that you want it to be. If the electrical outlet for the heat cable is behind the rack, plug the cable in before pushing the rack into its final position. When the boa rack is in its final place, lock each of the wheel casters at the front corners. Your Vision boa rack system is now ready for your animals. 
For more information about vision racks and cages, please visit the customcages.com website. If you need to ask a question about your rack, please use the contact comment form on the website or call our customer service department at 1-800-941-2243.